Hi, I'm Becky Mayer and welcome to Transitions, Body, Mind, Spirit. Transitions, we all have transitions in our life depending on uh, what age we are. We start at babies, we start, uh, well, what, what I do is I do triathlons, okay? And that's a perfect metaphor for life. First you go and you swim and then you get out of the water and then you bike and this is in your transition area. And then after you finish biking, you run. So what a great metaphor for all the different things that we do in our life. And as someone who's been physically active all my life, I think it's a wonderful gift for people to know about fitness. And we have two wonderful folks here who are part of New Beginnings. And New Beginnings here in Nashville is a great place where women can become empowered and learn to not only be fit with exercise, but learn how to eat. And the two people that are here are prime examples. They have done the program. They can tell us about it. All right, so Denise Queener, Norma Harris, welcome. Thank you so much for being here. Y'all look beautiful. <laughs> and Thank Denise, yes. tell us a, a little more since you are, uh, we had Tash Weddle here for a show who is the, the CEO mm -hmm. of this organization. Mm -hmm. And you are her part-time assistant, I believe. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. And tell us more about the program itself. The program is designed for women who um, may not have the financial means to find a gym or a place to work out, also needing help in nutrition um, um, and want to improve their lives, um, both physically and emotionally, because there's a part of our program that goes into um, how to put yourself first again. As women, we kind of get lost in that role. Ah, right. Um, so it's a 12-week program. We meet on Tuesday and Thursday evenings, and um, the transformation that I've seen in women and even myself um, is quite amazing. Mm -hmm. Quite amazing. Mm -hmm. um, I started with the program um, was um, depressed, um, overworked, <laughs> um, not taking care of myself, um, and through the 12 weeks that I was there, um, I learned the nutritional habits of how to uh, best take care of my body. Mm -hmm. um, and we, she talks uh, in the program, we talk just mainly about eating real foods. And what is a real food? Anything that <laughs> um, you can see outside growing or um, that's not packaged. Right, or right? anything with a face. Any <laughs> yes. Ah. So, um, She's really, we're, we re are really big on eating food that um, maybe you can go back and pick or go outside and uh, grab from a stalk or an, a tree or something right. like that. So eating real food. Um, and then the movement, uh, we do a whole workout series on um, how to properly move your body and and everything that is taught there, you can actually do um, at home. Mm -hmm. um, and we actually give you tools to do that with. Mm -hmm. um, and, and then the other part of it that's very important is the spiritual side. We talk about how to set goals and to make yourself a priority and to deal with guilt and shame um, mm -hmm. of leaving your family to fend for themselves for an hour, hour and a half. For um, an hour to and a take half. care of yourself, yes. <laughs> you know. Yes. Will um, they be okay they, for yeah, an hour and a half know? without me? Yeah. So, uh -huh. yeah. So the program encompasses all of that um, in a 12-week period. Okay. Meeting twice a week. Yeah. So, and the facility is off Franklin Road in the Melrose area, next to the uh, what the auto the Marta inspection Marta inspection mm -hmm. place, mm -hmm. and I know that she put that facility there to be on the bus route in case people didn't have a, mm -hmm. uh, an automobile. Yes. Um, yes. 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 It's a state of, it's probably one of the most beautiful gyms in the city. Um, uh, th this is the nonprofit side of what Tash 
Waddle does. She has a full gym facility that she runs a for-profit um, organization during the day and at night this is her way of giving back um, to and she just wants to see women who um, are just don't have anywhere else to turn mm -hmm. to find a way to change their lives mm -hmm. I mean I was one of those I had even called my health insurance and said I'm about <laughs> to cost you a whole bunch of money <laughs> <Wow>. <laughs> um, <laughs> what can you do and I don't want um, gastric gastric bypass surgery what can you do to help me get back on the right path get my health back Prevent and prevent, pre mm -hmm. prevent mm -hmm. anything. But before and something yeah, really bad yeah. happens. And they're like, we don't get calls like this. <laughs> we don't get calls don't like get this. Calls. Huh. And, um, and they could only help me with three nutritional counseling sessions. And I thought, that's just not going to be enough wow. for me. Because weren't you doing Zumba five days a week? I was doing Zumba five days a week, and I couldn't lose weight because I just didn't know. I thought I was eating healthy, mm -hmm. but... I really wasn't. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, there's so much information on on TV, on the internet. Right. There's so many books, and I was, I would gather that information from mm -hmm. all s corners and thought, I'm eating pretty well. I'm exercising five days a week, and still. And so what gives? Yeah. yeah what yeah. gives? Right. Yeah. Right. So for New Beginnings, all of that came together for me at the New Beginnings Center when I st started that program. Mm. And Norma, how did you transform your life uh, with New Beginnings, and how did you find out about it? Well, that's how I transformed my life, was through New Beginnings. Okay. Um, I found out about New Beginnings uh, through my church, uh, Mount Zion. Tash Waddle came and um, invited anyone that wanted to come, women only. That's the, uh, it's glorious. It's just the women, so you don't have to worry about, oh, is he looking at me? I'm not. Yeah, and so um, and so when she had an opening, um, I went to the class, and I started that class in June of 2015, mm -hmm. and I am still there. I will <laughs> be there uh, until she puts me out. Um, but it is uh, it's a way of life for me. Mm -hmm. um, it has taught me a new appreciation for myself, mm. and that enables me to have an appreciation, a deeper appreciation for other people as well. Mm -hmm. um, it's the, the being selfish, you know, it's okay to be selfish, you know, women would never think that it would be okay to be selfish, you know, to just think about yourself, you mm -hmm. know. We're always taking care of everybody else, but never taking care of ourselves. Mm. And so, um, yeah, so we learn how to take care of ourselves. Um, the meditation uh, alone will transform your life. Tell us about um, how you started doing meditation through New Beginnings. Well, I was already meditating um, and did not realize that I was meditating. Um, so Miss um, Waddle taught us, you know, try 10 minutes a day. 15 minutes a day, you know, and so you gradually increase that, you know, mm -hmm. and you don't have to be sitting um, in silence. Um, you don't have to do that. Um, mm -hmm. Taking a hot, relaxing bath is meditating. Mm -hmm. Reading is meditating. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so it's, it, it truly has transformed my life. I, um, I used to always be concerned about what other people thought about me or what other people mm. said about me. Mm -hmm. This program has taught me that that's not my business, what mm -hmm. other people think about me or right. what they say about me. That's not my business. That's their concern. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so I, uh, I'm, I'm down, what, maybe 10 dress sizes now. 10 and, uh, dress sizes. Yes. That's pretty yes. amazing. Since Ten June. dress sizes. Yes, and I've kept it off. And, and, and it's amazing, you know, it has been a, a lifestyle change for me, and it is doable. And mm -hmm. I love it, yeah. And it's the camaraderie that we have um, at the facility, you know. Everyone is encouraging everyone, and uh, it, it's great. It is great, yeah. So you have the... the I was uh, I, I work out with Tash in the mornings, mm -hmm. so I'm on the other program. But I went last night to see the New Beginnings and saw two different classes. One that was more advanced, mm -hmm. so to speak, and then one that was just beginning. Right. And just seeing how they would 
uh, the, how the workouts were and how people, there were so many people, I don't know, maybe 15 mm -hmm. all in one room working out and you could see everybody was kind of sharing the love, sharing right, the pain. Right. And after, I imagine, if week to week you do it for three months, yes. you see the same faces. Yes. You feel like there's a support base yes, of peers. It's yes. not just real strong people, oh, yeah, right. you need to do this. this exactly. Peer group. Yes. And you can see the transformation. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, you can, you know. And uh, another thing that the program, uh, that I learned from the program was don't be stuck on the scales, the number on the scales. Don't be stuck on those ah. numbers. Because when I went through it the, for the first 12 weeks, I really didn't lose any weight. And I was like, okay, what am I doing wrong? You mm. know? But I noticed that I was losing inches. Mm. And so I actually lost a whole lot of inches, but not a whole lot of weight. So I was okay with that once I stopped depending on the scales to tell me where I was. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, and so it's awesome. I, I recommend it to every woman, mm -hmm. every woman that mm -hmm. watches this show. You, you won't believe, you know, what mm -hmm. it does for you mm -hmm. mentally, physically, spiritually. I mean, it encompasses your entire being. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, 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 it's, it's great. Yes, mm -hmm. yes, it's a package well, deal. You mentioned family and how mm -hmm. so often women with kids or the husband or whatever oh I can't do this because th they they uh, they won't make dinner for themselves mm -hmm. or I can't right. take this time out right. um, and do you think that's fairly pervasive uh, amongst the people that end up participating in new beginnings I think so very much so yes. I think um, and I and I felt that way because when I even thought about I don't know how I'm going to manage to have dinner ready, have my mm -hmm. kids ready, have everything, you know, I just didn't think I could do it. Mm -hmm. And um, and I also realized that I was really taking away opportunity of my husband being involved in that part of my family's life. Mm -hmm. um, he can cook, right? He, he can yes. cook. Yes. It but may not be the the best things in the world. He'll, he'll argue that. Uh. Um, but it gave, it, it, it also, I think it strengthened the relationship between him and my kids mm -hmm. because I gave them that opportunity mm -hmm. where I think before I was trying to control it. Um, mm. And so really what some of the things that I've t learned through New Beginnings is that, because um, I'm a perfectionist, mm -hmm. recovering, <laughs> um, and I was a control freak. And so I just think it, it helped me to step back and um, let life happen a little bit right. more without me having to be totally in control. And realize that it will happen. It will happen yes. with or without yes. me. It really doesn't matter. Oh, things will right? happen with yes. you. Yeah. Yes. 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 So. Wow. Well, would you say that, uh, that women that first come to the program, what motivates them to even get through the door? Like I saw, a lot of women that look like they haven't had the opportunity to exercise much at all. Mm -hmm. And it's a scary thing when, oh, I don't know, I, I don't know if I can do it. And mm -hmm. what makes them the next step to actually walk in the door, sign up, do it? Now, personally, I don't know what gets them in the door, uh -huh. but once they get in the door, I think it's the camaraderie um, mm. and all the support that we give one another, mm -hmm. you know, so we feed off of each other, you know. To, mm -hmm. I, I, I don't know, like I said, I don't know what gets them in the door. What, um, what got me in the door was I was just ready, I needed a change. Mm -hmm. Because you were feeling depressed? I was feeling depressed, feeling my health was not, I mean, I knew my health was not the greatest. Mm -hmm. Um, and I knew I just needed a, ch I needed a change. I needed, I needed help. Mm -hmm. and, and the Zumba, wherever you were going, yeah, wasn't working. It wasn't doing it. Because it sounds like this approach is truly holistic. It's mm -hmm. everything. It's mm -hmm. not mm -hmm. just, you're just going to do Zumba, Zumba and right. change your life. Right. It's, 
it's what are you doing for food and what are you doing for quiet time and, right. and how would you say both of you your self-esteem has changed <laughs> dramatically for me yes dramatically yes me also because like I said I used to always be concerned about what people thought about me mm -hmm. you know and now that I don't care <laughs> what people think about me I'm I think that I am a much happier person you're happier yes mm -hmm. okay. yes yes I don't, it, it, it doesn't bother me anymore. Huh. Yeah. Isn't that yes. interesting that yes. from, from getting in shape, exactly. that changes that Exactly, part yes, of your life. yeah, because it does. It changes your mindset because you have to change your mindset mm -hmm. uh, in order to change your life. I mm -hmm. think anytime yeah. you just show up, Anytime mm -hmm. you show up to try something different or new, mm -hmm. you become brave. Mm -hmm. mm. There's a new part of you. There's mm -hmm. a, a, a new found courage. There's, mm. there's something that happens whenever you show up and try it. Mm -hmm. and, um, and that's what I found, that I mm -hmm. just became m much more, I, I don't know, I... I don't know. Much more Denise? Much more me. Yeah. yeah. More you. You're yeah. getting more back me. to your true self. Yeah. Yes. And the, the, the women who have not exercised at all, uh, um, how they, they got to come back and it looks like they, they do it the first time and it's, it, it's awkward, but they come back right. and they do more. And then when I saw the, the class after three months, thought wow they're doing good because mm -hmm. I work out too and I thought they're doing mm -hmm. great yes mm -hmm. really yes. great yeah and the f and the great thing about it is that we have several trainers that are there mm -hmm. we have volunteers volunteer and trainers we have too. some volunteer trainers we have paid trainers and they know how to meet you right where you are yes so we've had ladies in our program that have had bypass surgery oh wow um, that can't get down on the floor and they know exactly what to do to get them moving and to get mm -hmm. them stronger without having to do everything else. So I'm telling you that there's a way for you to work out no matter what physical condition you are in. Wow. There's a way for you to get stronger. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, we had one lady who, when they were asked, she was asked to get down on the floor, she couldn't get back up. We right. had to physically pick her up oh, off the yeah. floor. Before she left the program, after the 12 weeks, she was getting up and down off the floor eight herself. times mm -hmm. by herself. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah. And that was it's one of her fears. Right. She lives by yeah. herself, and she was like, what if right. I ever fall? Yeah. I don't know what to do. Well, now she knows. Mm -hmm. She yeah. knows exactly mm -hmm. how to get up and off, down off the floor. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've seen things like that happen time yeah. and time again. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, it truly is awesome. Um, it, uh, I mean, I was a couch potato. Um, you didn't exercise? Oh, no, ma'am. Didn't you have a history of smoking? Yes, ma'am. Okay. <laughs> smoked for over 30 years. Woo. I no longer smoke. Right. Um, I do have COPD and asthma now, um, but um, thanks to uh, the tools that I have learned through New Beginnings, um, mm. I no longer have to do breathing treatments as often as I used to, mm -hmm. and I attribute that to the program, um, wow. as well as my hormone therapy. Uh, I was on hormone replacement for 20 years, mm. and uh, yeah, and but through diet and exercise, mm -hmm. I am hormone free. Wow. I don't have to take hormone replacement, and so um, mm -hmm. it, it's great. It, yeah. it, it truly is, mm -hmm. yeah. Now, doesn't isn't it part of this program too that uh, you go through your house and get rid of certain things? Yes. Tell, tell us about that. <laughs> tell, tell us about the old way and the new way, <laughs> the wicked way and the better way. So you have to clean out your pantry and your refrigerator, and you have to get rid of all of the processed foods in your home, and like, you get rid of all of the carbs. Like what? So there's no bread in my house, no crackers, no cookies, no potato chips. Um, what else is not in my house? <laughs> I, there's hardly no dairy in my house. Mm -hmm. um, no more yeah. soda. I don't, yeah, uh, no if I don't buy sodas from my husband. He'll still want a soda here and there, but oh. he knows he has to go and buy it. I don't, yeah. I don't purchase it anymore. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. And so through the process, my husband, when I first started, he lost 15, 20 pounds. Mm -hmm. So right he away. lost weight. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> and then, and I know I'm being a better role model for my children. Mm -hmm. ah. So I know that for every woman who is affected, mm -hmm. every woman that is affected is going to spiral into someone right. else's. 
Exactly. Wow. Yeah. And then I'm sure people have said, looked at you both and said, wow, mm -hmm. what are you doing? Yes. Well, you look great. Mm -hmm. Yes. And we're going to have uh, a before and after picture to show everybody too. So, and, and how, how do you feel when people say that? Um, beautiful. <laughs> I, yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, you know, I, I work at a high school, and uh, you know, the kids would be like, "Miss Harris, you're losing weight." I was like, "Yeah, thank you. I'm trying to look like you all." And they'll be like, uh, "You already do look like the majority of us." Uh -huh. Yeah. So now I can run with the majority of them in there as well, and uh -huh. not get winded. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah. 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 And then what great. about you? It's a fantastic feeling. I was the PTO president at my children's school, and wow. um, that's huge. Started teaching again. I teach part-time as well and so um, I was gone from my children's school for over a year and I didn't, wasn't there every day like I had been mm -hmm. and I walk in and they're like what what are you doing have you lost weight well, right. yeah and I've yeah. actually brought lots of friends yeah. um, to new beginnings mm -hmm. um, as a part of that so mm -hmm. it's it's a fantastic feeling yeah mm -hmm. so basically if somebody says I'm interested what do I have to do? And particularly, they, they, they think, well, I don't have much money. You know, what can I, and how, how do you determine that? And I have a little sheet here with house, household size incomes, too. Um, and it's pretty generous, I thought, with the scholarships available mm -hmm. for people. Yeah, um, we are based on a sliding fee scale. Mm -hmm. And um, I, the majority of our ladies pay nothing. Um, pay nothing. Pay nothing. The majority. There's very few, and it's so the sliding fee scale is based on it's the the, the same as Habitat for Humanity. Um, we have a website, and on that website there is a um, an application button. You can you can hit that button and download the application, fill it out, mail it to us, and we would love to. I will I will be the one calling you to say hey, <laughs> yes, you want to come be a me. part uh -huh. <laughs> be a part of our program and talk about the and we in there we also ask for several other documents so that I can determine whether or not or we can determine whether or not um, there's a slight fee that you need to pay mm -hmm. but it's not something that usually that's we collect right up front you can pay as you go mm -hmm. um, and that kind of stuff so mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah and it says here like for one one person in a household if you make less than forty five thousand six hundred seventy five um, mm -hmm. You can get in free. Is yes. that right? Mm -hmm. That's I think that's very generous. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We do a lot of fundraising in order to keep that going. However, I mean there's okay, a lot of money. Because it is a nonprofit. It is nonprofit, and we are looking constantly for, you know, we have generous um, partners who have funded the program. We've had some grants, mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. We have individuals who give on a you know monthly basis. Mm. Um, we have special events throughout the year that we try to generate funding. Mm -hmm. So it is something that is an ongoing, um, probably the uh, Tash Weddell's least favorite part of the business yes. <laughs> of Getting running a nonprofit is, yes. is going out and begging for money. Yes. But it truly is an, an empowering tool for women. Lives are being changed. It's being, uh, you know, people who have been on. I've seen people who have been uh, diabetic 16 mm -hmm. years on insulin come right. completely off insulin. Mm -hmm. Completely, completely yes. off, off insulin. Just yes. th in three months? In, yes. in she did it in the nine, within the first nine weeks of the 12 week program, came wow. completely off mm -hmm. her insulin. Mm -hmm. So that's it's amazing. just, it happens. Yes. It happens. Yeah, that's it does. the diet and, and the camaraderie mm -hmm. and the, yes. the yeah. and the exercise. Right. And yeah. it's not just for the three months because after you graduate mm -hmm. from the program, mm -hmm. we have, um, it's called the rewards group and you mm -hmm. can come and be a part of the rewards group. It's a, it's a continuation of the program. Um, 
And Norma, that's what you've been doing, right? Yes, ma'am. Coming yep. on back. <laughs> Six days a week. Six days yes, a week. So you can come be a part of it and um, encourage others. We often yes. ask people like Norma to come back to be mentors mm -hmm. in the program. Mm -hmm. I was asked to be a mentor because I had young children at home. And it's really hard when you're used to uh, serving your kids um, you know, chicken tenders and macaroni mm -hmm. and cheese mm -hmm. to suddenly start weaning them off of that. Right. Wow. Right. To the kids' diet is changing yeah. too, right? Yes. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yes. And then what do you, and if it's not chicken tenders, what is it? it well, it's real chicken. It's, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> it's real chicken. It's grilled chicken breast. It's, you know, grilled and introducing vegetables and that it's, it's been great. Uh huh. Yeah. And how do the kids feel about this? Some are, you know, they don't complain as much anymore because they know it we're, it's not going back. Right. <laughs> ah, <laughs> we're not going it. back. It's not going to happen. You know, every once in a while they get theirs, but you know, yeah. kids require more carbs than I do. Right. So, mm -hmm. right, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, would you all say that to get the word out better? How? What would you tell anyone that's listening? Uh, uh, what they ought to do if they're kind of on the fence well maybe and maybe you know i think w how would you urge them to get on the website and just sign up and do it well they well they don't even have to get on the website and sign up they could just come and check out a class yes they could just come to yes. a, a tuesday or thursday class and and see if it's something mm -hmm. that they would be interested in you know because mm -hmm. the one thing that they do ask is that you commit to the twelve weeks mm -hmm. commit mm -hmm. yes all right if you're going to sign up you need to do this for twelve yes. weeks mm -hmm. and do the whole deal yes right none yes. of this so oh, try this uh, right. Right. you got to commit mm -hmm. it is a commitment mm -hmm. it is. yeah mm -hmm. So, yeah. and we're there every Tuesday and Thursday evenings. There's a six o'clock class and a seven o'clock class. Mm -hmm. I'm there almost every Tuesday, Thursday evening, unless there's something going on in my children's class or whatever. But, and I'll be there mm -hmm. as soon as somebody comes in the door and says, I wanna see the program. Can mm. you tell me about it? So come mm -hmm. see firsthand, yeah. you can talk to participants yes. like Norma. You can, mm -hmm. I mean, you can hang See out. live and in yes. person. <laughs> you can hang out in the classroom when Tasha is, is talking. The, she is a coach yes. by heart. And there is no, she is a fantastic coach and motivator. And this is the CEO of all this. Yes. yes. Right. And you sat yes. in her class and was like, wow, yes. I, you know, I learned something just sitting in that yes. class, you yes. know? Yes. So she's, and so come be a part give us a call, let me know you're coming, and I would be glad to be there to answer any questions. Tuesdays and Thursdays, six or seven o'clock, mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and it's off Franklin Road and Melrose, and what's the road it's actually It's on, on Craighead. On mm -hmm. Craighead, right mm -hmm. by where you get your auto emissions. Emissions, yes. Exactly. <laughs> right, yes. Yes. right, and we're trying to really spread the word uh, when I tell people about this, they're like, wow, I didn't even know about this. Right. So we really are trying to get more, yeah. more and more people. Even in my help to grab a friend, we've had f people come with their friends, their moms, their sister, mm -hmm. come do it with somebody you already know and right. it makes it Is less there intimidating. Is there an age restriction if you're 18 or? You have to be 18, okay. but we've had people as old as 72. Wow. Be a part. 72. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And got better and healthier. And got better and, and healthier. And everything. Yes. yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, Denise and Norma, you both are inspirational. Thank you. Thank, thank you so you. much. New beginnings. Thank you. New beginnings. Yes, transitions. Body, mind, spirit. Right here. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. All right. Nobody didn't say cut. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>